to this week's Finishers Fit Club segment. And for all the finishers listening, this was dedicated to you. And to those who are joining me, welcome, Tammy. Welcome, Jason. Hey, how you doing? So excited to have you both. Uh, first off, to let folks know, Tammy, you're in San Diego, so I thank you so much for taking the time and arranging your schedule uh, to join us. And I know that Jason, we, you know, you're always busy. So the fact that we have the both of you here uh, makes the ongoing finishers fit, uh, finishers fit Club segment uh, really good. So I want to jump right in. Uh, Tammy, how did you become a finisher? And the fact that you are still a finisher all the way out in San Diego. Well, um, when Jason and Curtis and Rudy had ran the half marathon a few years ago, Kathy had posted a video and um, I had commented on it, but she included me in her email when she had um, decided to form this group. Mm -hmm. And I had uh, missed a couple of, uh, I'll get a nice little schedule, I missed a couple of runs and then uh, Renee, shout out to Renee, she called me out and she's like, where have you been? How come you haven't been showing up? And I made it to one of the group uh, training sessions. And you know, cool. you know the energy that you felt when you the first time you met yes. that it's just, it was just amazing. It's the infection. <laughs> uh, yes. so from that, it's from that moment, I was like, all right, this is great. It's, it's, it's just an amazing feeling to be with a group of people that have, have the same mindset as you and are working towards the same goal. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you both to, this is not your time to like speak loud, cheerleading voice. So, Jason, what about you? How did you? You're what you're in that crew of the founders of the Finishers Fit Club. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's like an opportunity to be able to talk to a global audience. Just first and foremost, so greetings, you know, Matthew has the best door as well. I <laughs> love it. Country. Well, first and foremost, and as my, as my, as my good brother, uh, uh, they feel coming name, Spice Taylor, and uh, we lost uh, coming name, we lost it, and uh, no Harriet, you know, government made to say forward and shared a couple seconds back. You know, this, this whole thing really grew out of the speech and fellowship, camaraderie, and really, you know, health and wellness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, being sharp and still and a little bit of good old trash talking as well. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, folks are kind of going online and I, I, I think the first three really articulated, you know, go back to the show, really articulated that this was a bond for the love. Uh, you know, the deep friendship, but also, you know, reminding ourselves that we have to, uh, you know, love our bodies, take care of our, our bodies. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a crime to treat your body bad. You know? yeah. So the, the two of you, uh, you know, add a different. Now, Tammy, you just started running, and then Jason, you were a runner and have continued to run. So tell us a little bit about both of those journeys. Well, I you can speak up a little bit, Tammy. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, you know, starting this journey, you know, when you're in your late 20s, early 30s, and you're starting running, it's, it's really difficult if you haven't conditioned your body to it. But, you know, it has definitely been life changing. Running is an amazing, amazing exercise with a runner high. It's, just, it's great. What about you, Jason? I mean, you were a runner, and then now you're still doing this, you know? Absolutely. I, I, I do run as a, as a younger man. I, I, I will lovingly say, once a runner, always a runner. Absolutely. I, 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 you know what I mean? But, uh, but then I rediscovered it, you know, um, you know later on. I'm, I'm, I'm 40 at this point in time, and it, it's, uh, you know, it's crucial. It's, it's, it's great that we have this new kind of component of, like, building the community uh, around uh, health and wellness, and it really helped me uh, get back on track in a lot of different ways, not mm -hmm. just physically, but, uh, you know, running has, you know, so many benefits, both kind of mentally, 
uh, you know, emotionally and spiritually. At least that's been uh, my experience. And when you combine that, which, you know, you know, like the good folks, I was on your show, like Dan and the rest of the finishers, it just puts you in a real healthy and, and, and positive, you know, positive space. And, so, and, and what I love is that no matter what pace you're at, everyone is still cheering everyone on. Like we, some of us are on that my run together. And even though at times we may have, we may think we have a bad run. And then you hear that whisper go, great run though, I like your run. And it's like, oh, okay, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> so it does sort of uh, lift your spirits. Now, one of the things that I've asked everyone, I have two more questions that I wanted to ask um, is, how does what we're doing in, in the finisher space uh, expand into your workspace, family space, community space? Uh, well, sorry, go ahead, Dan. Thanks, uh, No, you can go ahead, Jason. <laughs> oh, what I was going to say is that one, one of the people things about the finisher is that you know, the, if the collective if the community it doesn't have any highlights. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, and it's very rare that you find that kind of culture in any space. Exactly. I mean, there's no hierarchy. I mean, you could be running whatever, six million miles or 60 million miles. It doesn't matter. All finishers stand on equal plane. And, and then also outside of that, there's no division um, in, in without hierarchy. There's no division, you know, between the, the, uh, the voice of the women finishers or the mm -hmm. voice of the, the men finishers. And it's a... That's rare in any setting and situation uh, in society. And some of that thinking around, you know, equality in space definitely bleeds over into many things. And it's a reminder that when you operate like that, how powerful uh, of a movement that can become, you know, being on many different levels, personal relationships, cooperative endeavors, so on and so forth. But that's, that's one of the beautiful things about the finishing is that, you know, has implications beyond just running, in my mind, at least. Thanks, Jason, for that. Uh, Tammy, what about you? Well, you know, I, uh, personally, it definitely has bonded some of my friendships even more. Mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I've known Cafe and Lindsay for over 20 years, but since we are part of the finishers now, we, our bond is even stronger as friends. Yes. And, like, uh, Jason was a track star in high school, so was my sister, who had fallen off running. And now she's back, she's in the center of and she's back to running. And it's, it's, it's good to have a community sense of these people that we've known for so long that, um, that are just trying to do the same thing as you and are very encouraging. Mm -hmm. As for work, I actually uh, take cancer patients for a living. Mm. And um, I have to say, you know, cancer doesn't discriminate from, you know, the most healthiest person to the most unhealthiest person. But I see in my work where patients fare better with treatment if they are live a healthier lifestyle. You mm -hmm. know, their chances of getting cancer are less. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the other complications that can happen with the treatment, they they don't see that mostly if they have a healthier lifestyle. And that's what I take from it. I would tell my patients, make sure you stay active. Even if you're just walking, you, you know, you might not be able to run a marathon. But let me try and get out there and do something. So I really try to encourage that with that. Thank you so much. Now, this is Black History Month, and, and the finishers is diverse. It's not a predominantly uh, Black space, but it comes from the friendship of many of you that were predominant, are predominantly African Americans, Afro Caribbeans, you know, like, geez, the African diaspora is all up in the finishers, the Afro Caribbeans. Um, how. How important is this, like Jason, you said, this very healthy, no hierarchy, equal space between black women, black men, um, community empowerment. How important is that for what we're doing to reflect out to the black community as we begin to close out Black History Month? Well, big shout to Carter G. Woodson, first off, Thanks. you know, first and foremost, who you know, came up with the idea of Black History Week, which they ruined the Black History Month. This is just a reminder to us to celebrate ourselves, to finish with you all the time, 
you know, as well as, you know, name our, you know, we must name our own name to celebrate ourselves, name our own hero. So, you know, I think that's just real important. I mean, I think, you know, the finish is a kind of manifestation that and we, we take, you know, Black History Month as a month. So that's 365 as well. Mm -hmm. And Tammy, what about you? I definitely agree with Jason, but, um, you know, basically, I, my whole thing is, you know, health as well, and the black community, they don't, a lot of people don't see it until you see other people doing it, so we're just trying to lead by example. Mm -hmm. One of one of the things. Also, Tony Tan. He has his piggyback on Tan Tan. Yeah. There was a few other predominantly African American, Afro Caribbean running groups in Boston. So you know, the finish of the twenty give you all the shout out to folks like Black Girls Run Boston and really yeah. And hey, you know, we don't have to be uh, regulated for spaces where they say this is just for you. Yeah, you know I mean, mm -hmm. so get out there, join some races, it'd be great for finishing. We have, well, I mean, we show up 40, 50 feet. We love to see some of these other money groups come out there, you know, to show up and show out. If I, you know, we like to say the finishes to try to finish up, but I can't make such a good point. I just wanted to re emphasize that. And the thing is that it, it not only uplifts those that look like us, what I sat out, saw at the first race is that others who don't look like us also found us inspiring to them. Um, you know, one of the pictures that was captured from the race was two finishers holding hands and crossing an, an elderly white woman to the finish line. So mm -hmm. we don't discriminate, you know, in uplifting and inspiring other people, um, which I find absolutely refreshing um, in what we're doing, you know. Um, because I might be biased, man, but the finishes you win is a good looking food, man. Like, <laughs> you know, it's a good looking good looking food, make you smile when you see us all together. It, you, that that you know that other picture that they captured from the race when we're like cheering and at the finish line is so like a postcard. That should be the finishers um Christmas card, New Year's card. Um but I you know I know you. Yes, and plus, <laughs> they see only you, only you, Jason Boyd, would say something like that, and I could take it. I could take it. Um, but before you go, uh, you know, this this is an ongoing segment. There's more to come. Uh, there's more for folks to hear. We have a national, international. Um, most of our listeners are from the continent uh, because this is Africa Ra African Radio Online. What would be your message from us to all um, as it relates to coming from that finisher's point of view before you go? Um, I, I was, I'm going to say I apologize. Yeah, no, no, that's all right, Dick. Go ahead. <laughs> you do. Just look. Love with, you know, love and respect and celebrate what you see in the mirror, you know what I mean? And, and then extend that, you know, that respect to your fellow travelers and, and celebrate your brothers and sisters uh, when you can. So hopefully that's awesome. And Tammy? All right, my message is just, you know, all you need to do is to get out there and go, it doesn't matter how slow or how fast. You go, just go. That's the most important thing. We encourage everybody to just finish. That's why we're the finishers. Doesn't matter when you right. get there, as long as you get there. Now I could I could stay on the phone all day with the both of you, but I know <laughs> Tammy, you you took time uh, to do this, and I want to thank you so much. Um, and I cannot. You're you're so welcome. I cannot wait to meet you in person, and and. Uh, you, you'll be here in May, right, for the Run to Remember. Yeah, we're trying to organize a, a San Diego race, too. I know Cafe is coming out in uh, August to run the American Sign of City Half Marathon. So if anybody wants to come out with say, you're more than welcome to come and run that half with us. Okay. And, and you're doing the half up in May? I'm doing the half in May in Boston, but because I'm in California, I'm... We're trying to organize some finishers to come out here and run out here too. Did you hear that Soul Black Pro family? She's doing the half. She just spoke about just not start just starting to raise and she's doing a half marathon in May. That's pretty impressive. Well, 
and you're gonna finish. You're gonna finish. And you're gonna finish. You're gonna finish. Jason, I've been trying to get you on the show for a yeah, long time. So I'm so glad you finally took the time, my brother, to join me and that folks get to hear, you know, that brilliant mind that I have to deal with every day. <laughs> Thank you so much, both of you, for coming on. To all the finishers listening, much love and admiration. Uh, looking forward to next week's uh, finisher segment to see who's coming out. Both of you, thank you, and take care. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you that. Peace. Bye, Bye. So isn't that some great finisher's energy? I mean, it keeps getting better. Yeah. Like, it's like, okay, this person is there. I mean, everyone holds this this energy, this, this just not just mind energy, but spiritual energy. And it actually speaks directly to why we started Soful Afro Hassan, which was to talk about those things that keep us grounded and and the music that makes us move and running right now is a great dance for this group of folks, you know. And they do know how to party and they do know how to dance, but the fact that running is sort of this this genuine uh, grounding space. So thank you so much to Jason and Tammy for joining us. We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back uh, where I will share some of my Black History Month presentations that I uh, just attended or did myself and go right into some latest headlines. We'll be right back. <laughs> Turn me around, turn me around, they won't let me forget you.